Hi guys, welcome to Munchao Sajibi Titara. So to continue the series of um, BDS members personality analysis, today we have Chimin. I've already shuffled and drew the cards, so now we're just gonna have a look at um, what we're having here. Um, for Chimin, it's a little bit special because I have this um, card from a deck called um, Star, Star, Star Seed Oracle's deck for him because um, his life part number is, a, is an 11 and it's different from other members. Um, it a very, it, it, 11 is a very special number um, in terms of life part number. That's why I have that card specially drew for Jimin. It's not that I treat him any differently. Um, it's just because um, he has a special number um, with his birthday birth date, that's so to speak. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I'm just gonna have to start with this one here. We've got the strength, strength, um, and then we've got four of swords. Nine of cups, we have four energy here. Wow, the Empress, okay. And then we've got three of cups, beautiful, beautiful. Um, right, new start is coming. Birthing a new age, what? Um, be authentic. The universe has my back. Oh my god, what do I say? Um, and then the void, stop, embrace winter, quit cosmics, womb. What do I say about Chimin? He's so special. Um, right off the bat, I feel like let's. Let's start with the fact that he has life partner number 11. It's already special. Like, people with uh, life partner number 11, someone is very sensitive, very intuitive. Um, someone who vibrates at a, like a higher level of energies um, compared to the other numbers. Um, and then, like, with these readings, that shows so strong. Like, Shimin is someone who is very intuitive, very empathetic. Um, he feels so strongly and so deeply every like every kind of emotions and he can feel the emotions of, of people around him as well um, and then like with this the universe has my back this deck um, actually actually named like the, the universe has my has my back is the name of this oracle deck that I'm using here um, and what else, what else can I ever say about this quote? Um, he's blessed since the moment he's born. Like, um, okay, okay, I'm like having too much, too many thoughts with this reading right now, but let's start, start with strength. Um, this is actually like the, my most favorite card in this tarot, is in this particular tarot deck. Um, I have two, three different tarot decks and in each one I have different uh, like favorite cards of the deck and this is um, the one of this one it's just so beautiful look at this the imagery of this it's like the lion is is the king of the jungle right but he's so calm he's so beautiful um he he's strong like deep down inside he's very strong very capable but at the same time he's he's calm he's beautiful um cares about other people around him as well like he knows everything like he knows everything that that has been going on around him um he's very well aware of the environment that he's in um but at the same time he's he's never impulsive or he's never he never does something that is out of line like everything he does is is very well um has a very well manner you, you can and you can never pick out a mistake like he would you would never criticize this kind of people this kind of people they just so the, there is this powerful auras around them um that like you just want to i don't know you just you just want to be around them they they're so attractive um, that's what I get from this strength and of, and of course um, deep down inside they're so strong but like when we look at Jimin he's, he's super strong inside um, like I don't think I've never I've ever come across anyone that is as strong willed as, as Jimin but 
but when we look at him, he's so soft, he's so beautiful. Um, he's just and he's very well maintained, so he cares a lot about how he looks. Um, yeah, and oh, it's just like really strong energy from this uh, strength card. Whew. Um, and then when we look at this four of swords, it gives me a little bit of like innocence, um, an innocent um, look. So then, so yeah, Chimin is innocent, but he knows things. Like with this ship, it's like a really young ship, um, but it's very wise. Like he knows things. And like to me, this um, thing here, almost like a third eye, just like. They can he can see things without looking at it, um, like he feels he can feel things really deeply, really strongly. And like he can feel he can feel the presence of more of things that most people can't. Um, so like he can read the room, like he can read the atmosphere of a room uh, really quickly and really accurately as well. Um, and I think he works really well under pressure as well. Um, he would not show that he um, nervous like like he would he would be able to hide the the anxiety that people wouldn't be able to pick it, pick it up from him. Um, Sometimes that is not a very good thing, but um, but that is just part of his personality I think um, and then we we have this we have this knight of cups and we have this um, three of cups as well so knight of cups to me is always the card that represents wishes coming true um, so whatever he wished for he would have it um, it's also part of, part of his blessing with this the universe has it has his back um, but it's also it's not just um, everything is granted for him for nothing. For nothing, um, he works for it. Like everything that comes to him, um, is is not out of nowhere. It is his um, karma. You know, like it is his. Um, he's worthy of it. He's worthy of whatever is just granted to him. And with the nine of cups, it's just good things. Like. Um, emotional fulfillment, happiness, uh, wishes coming true with this um, three of cups like friendship, soulmates, um, really really great friendships and like like team spirit, um, just, just joyful. So that this um, line right here just give me like really good vibe of he's surrounded by good people. Um, and like when he's in a group, he tends to be like the tension, like um, he is the one who would attract attention when he's within a like a group environment. Um, he would be like the center of attention wherever he goes. Um, but also like he has a lot to give to other people as well. Like he's such um, a comforter. Like he's so comfortable to being around him. He has so much love and he cares about people a lot. Uh, very genuine, very nice, very kind as well. Very authentic. He's ne he never fakes anything. Um, so everything that comes from him, from him, be it like like emotions or um, what whatever he shows is just authentic and very genuine um, and with this Empress energy is um, it's really strong um, like protective um, or it's like cares um, so he's, he's very caring very intuitive and Empress is someone who is very um, like how do I say this um, very emotional but very intuitive I've said this was so many times but it, it is Jimin intuitive um, feels things very deeply and um, you understand things without even looking at it um, he can read people he can read people like a, like an open book um, even if people don't like really want to show it um, it, it takes really a short time for him to get to know people um, and also he 
um, he doesn't like to hide himself, uh, so um, it's, it's it's easy to get to know him as well. He's, he's like he, because he's a Libra, so he's such a butterfly, like a social butterfly. Um, but that doesn't mean he's not authentic with everything that he does. Um, what I have here um, with this birthing a new age and a new start is coming, new moon, bringing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. And with this night of swords, I feel like maybe I'm wrong, but uh, this is what I feel really strongly from this card. Like, Jimin his ultimate goal with, with everything that he's been doing up until this point he wants to like open up a new path or a new world or like I don't know he's want to, to to make a new I don't know to lead a new way into this world. I don't know what it is about but it's like leading the way into something into something new and into something better for people like him um, for people that because like strength here the lion like being the kings of, of the jungle um, they are in the lead as well so like some um, so he would be the one that would like to take the lead um, to open like to open up new things I don't know um, new genres in music or like new style um, trendsetter, I don't know, but I feel like with Jimin is something bigger than that. Um, and if we look at his uh, latest song, Filter, um, he talks about something like, um, what was it? It's like people wants to look at him, like how, however, like, oh, I'm getting lost with this thought, but I feel like he's open, he's trying to opening up a new um, a new way for people to look at artists um, it's like he would do music in the way that he would like to do like um, not following other people's path or not following the expectations that uh, fans or society have on an artist like him so he would he would do something like he would love to do something totally new. That's what I get from these three cards. Like he that's it his wishes. And I feel like he's come he's coming so close to that to that as well. And then we have this the void. Embrace winter, great cosmic womb. So the the void is like a place that everything ends and everything starts as well. Um so I feel like with Chimin to be able to to be able to reach this new start and to make this big like these wishes of him come true, he has there has to be a really significant change. Like really, really big change that happened within him or in the world um, around him. Something that could maybe like turn everything upside down, um, but it's not for the worst, like might be it might be for the better I don't know um, like he has to give up something to be able to bring new things to be able to bring this new world into life um, I don't know what it is but I feel like it's something really big um, and something real like nobody would expect from someone like like Chimin. maybe that's why it is like new age, new start, and it, it is in the void. Um, but yeah, wow, like the energies from this reading is so strong. I'm, so, I'm sleeping because well. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I see for Jimin. Um, he's very like strong willed. Um, wow. And he's very sharp as well. Very smart, very intellectual, like such an intellectual intellectual uh, but at the same time very caring um, very like he has such a big heart and he would just like to take care of everyone he would like to like mother everyone um, with, with the empress 
um, if you love someone, he just he would do anything for the, for that person or those people. Um, yeah, I think that's that's all I have for Jimin. Whew. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.